The Lipsia engine was made by two different manufacturers. Some were made by Marklin, some by Schoener. And this one's a Schoener one. Now the two versions were so close, so similar, that it can't be just coincidence. But I'm not sure whether one was a copy of the other or whether they were both made to a common design by a third party, I don't know. Quite a large boiler, quite a large engine. Uses nearly half a litre of water and 80 millilitres of meths. Pistons very badly worn and it's a very messy engine to so when it starts up. has a mechanical feed pump but I don't use it at the moment because the uh, side class is missing so there's no way of judging the water level
when I bought this engine it was pretty obvious that the previous owner had boiled it dry and there was a massive leak at the, uh, the boiler end plate there so I had to uh, completely resolder that and that could be the explanation why the uh, the side class is missing. That may have unsoldered itself as well. Also, the, uh, the safety valve is damaged. And that needed repairing. So I did that with a couple of new parts made by a good friend of mine. It's a nice steady engine, it doesn't break any speed records, but it does speed up a bit as the, uh, as the pressure builds up. It takes a while though. This one is pretty hopeless. <laughs> Very impressive looking nameplate, which gives its model name Lipsia, but doesn't mention the manufacturer. Speed's beginning to pick up a little bit now. I don't know it's warmed up. <laughs> 